Go to church. 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 Go ahead, man. Church. We just found the Quran burner coming to our mosque to burn the Quran while we're actually refurbishing the property with money raised from the Quran burner. So we just got the chance to thank our friend Mr. Lars Thorn or Lars Tushin for raising so much money. Would you like to give our donors a message? What is your message for our international donors? My message is we're going to remove this guy from our country, send him back to Shitholistan. Thank you. You, you will do what? You're going to remove me from this country and send yes. me back to where? Shit Holistan. Where is that? That's Islam. Pakistan in your case. Aha, uh -huh, okay. okay. So you're going to continue burning the Quran. Even you will be financing our masjid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our mosque you're will be our built. City. We're still going to deport him. So why, why, why did you come here today? Burn Quran, which I intend to continue doing. So you didn't manage to do it today? <laughs> Threatening me with fire, huh? No. Yes, you did. You should probably okay. see as a so, psychiatrist. So, one, one second. Tell our donors why are you burning the Quran. So you, you made a message in Norwegian. We want our donors to know why are you burning the Quran. What's your message? What is your message to our donors? It's a protest against the um, political content of this um, evil book, which I'm going to burn down, by, down the road here. Thank you. Bye-bye. What evil content? This is the word of God. Everything that's... This is the word of God. Regarding you can't topic. burn the word of God. Okay. No matter what you do, you try to extinguish the light of Allah. Allah will, will perfect his light. Will, uh, There's nothing you can do. And you will burn in the hellfire. You will burn in the hellfire. You can't burn the Quran. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. You just saw what happened. I was inside Iman Activity Center, our masjid and our center and the refurbishments had started and we were yani, working inside and suddenly subhanallah I just my eye just caught someone is out there from the window and then I saw this military jeep la ilaha illallah so immediately I just ran outside I could just yani, the, the feelings that were going through my my body at that time, I can't explain them, but I didn't know how many there were, what will happen, but I just ran outside. And they came in two cars. There were seven people. It was me by myself and Brother Mahir was with, was, was with me with the, with the camera, Alhamdulillah, that he had the camera with him. So immediately when they saw me coming, they got scared. These people are cowards. They had come to burn the Quran. They'd come to burn the Quran in front of the masjid. But as soon as they saw me, one man in front of seven people with two cars. And I know they already have their weapons with them as well. They always carry weapons to spray people in, in the face. So they started to, they, they tried to actually drive away. I just immediately ran in front of the car and stopped them. And then I confronted them. Why are you burning the Quran? What's your message? What's your message to us Muslims? You cowards. Why don't you just come and say it straight out to our faces? Why do you come and burn the Quran? You racist people. And you guys saw what he said. I actually had a longer conversation with him in Norwegian as well. But you guys heard the main points. Brothers and sisters, this person, these racist people they want to deport us from the country they want to put muslims in concentration camps just like in china they have said that they want to release the terrorist Amnesh Breivik why? to kill muslims this is their agenda they want to eradicate islam brothers and sisters can we allow that to happen? Can we allow them to come and scare our children from coming to the masjid? Can we allow them to come and ban the Quran? Can we allow them to continue doing what they're doing? Wallahi, I was so frustrated. You can just imagine the feeling going through myself, through my heart. No Muslim has ever 
been able to catch them the way I did today. No Muslim has ever been able to do that. I confronted them. But what more can I, what, what, what more could I do? There's only one thing we can do as a community, brothers and sisters, to give victory to the deen of Allah. To not allow these racist people, these Islamophobes, to do what they want to do with us. And that is to establish Islam. We need to build our Islamic institutions. We need to build our mosques. We need to build our Islamic schools and kindergartens. Give tarbiyah to our youth and establish the deen of Allah in our hearts and, and in our society. Brothers and sisters, let's make this fool, this enemy of Allah, the very reason for Islam penetrating the hearts and the minds of the Norwegian people. Let's make him the very reason for us establishing our Islamic institutions. Brothers and sisters, we don't even have security over here. We don't even have cameras. We don't even have a fence to block these people from coming. They can come whenever they want and ban the Quran and do whatever filthy things they want to do to desecrate the, deen of, to desecrate the book of Allah. Once they even put bacon on the Quran, these filthy people, brothers and sisters, donate what you can and help us establish the deen of Allah. Help us refurbish this property. Brothers and sisters, you can see this property needs full refurbishment. We cannot do that without your support. Don't allow this enemy of Allah to win. Don't allow them to win. Brothers and sisters, give victory to the deen of Allah. These racist Islamophobes, anti-Muslims, they will not stop until they see that what they are doing is leading to the establishment of the deen of Allah. When they see and they actually realize that not one masjid is being built, not two, not three, but tens or 30 or 50 or 100 mosques are being built, inshallah ta'ala, and that da'wah is flourishing and Islam is being established in our lives, in our hearts and in the society and that people are coming to the deen of Allah in big numbers because of what they are doing because they are inspiring the Muslims to keep giving for the sake of Allah not one time but many times the Muslims become regular donors to support the Islamic mission to support the Islamic cause then these enemies of Allah these enemies of ours they will have no choice except to stop desecrating the Quran, stop their evil actions against Muslims because they will know that the more they do what they do, the more you and we will give in the sake of Allah and the deen of Allah will be established. So brothers and sisters, please, for the sake of Allah, become a regular donor a regular supporter for the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he Azza wa Jal will reward you for every single dollar that you give for his cause for every single sacrifice that you make for establishing the deen of Allah and protecting the symbols of Islam and protecting the life of the Muslims from these evil people who want to eradicate us Jazakumullah khairan Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh